Okay, I'm going to make a video about how you can uh, change your wallpaper permanently in i3 and also how you can rotate your screen just in case that might interest you. All right, so first I have to pull up the terminal. Okay, uh, so we're going to definitely need um, what they call Fay. So I'm going to pull up Ranger. I'm going to go to my pictures. I'm going to go to wallpapers. And this is the wallpaper I currently have, okay? So I made this in GIMP. Um, so this is the wallpaper that I'm currently using, and I want uh, my computer to always display this wallpaper. And actually the way I have it is that any file named wallpaper.jpg in this directory is going to be my wallpaper. So if I, the way I have it programmed, if I change the name, of any of these files or any other file in this directory it will automatically be the wallpaper I found that to be the easiest way to go um, so here's the program you might be able to slightly tell F F E H as Fay that's the program you're gonna need um, so most likely what you've already done is you've already found online that you're supposed to download that program and then you can right click and then you can go to background and then you can either set tiled scaled centered or fill uh, filled I'll go ahead and do that it's not going to do anything that's what I already have um, and so it will um, already be now it is part of your or now it is your wallpaper However, when you restart your computer, it's going to go away, and you're going to get whatever the default was. My default is black. Um, maybe yours is gray. So um, you would have to do this process all over again, and that can be annoying. Um, so here's how I do it. So again, um, the way I'm going to do it is any file named wallpaper.jpg is going to be my wallpaper. Okay, so if it's I like this particular directory, I'm going to use that file. All right, so let's get rid of these um, and get rid of that. Okay, so I'll print up terminal again, and um, this. Well, I guess I should say that you should check out the manual for Fay, um, and it has everything you could possibly want to know about the program, um, but it also has examples of how you can set. Um, in the terminal how you can do all this in the terminal I think it's coming up in just a second where is it okay so here it's telling you you can do um, dash dash big center dash dash big max I um, at least for this one particular picture I like fill I usually like fill so you can use um, dash dash big fill but here here's all of your options no uh, fay big uh, tile so here's all of your options so just look at that and play around and see um, what you like but um, this is describing how you can set up your um, well any picture but how you can set it up as um, the wallpaper in the terminal. Okay, so that's how you're going to find that information in case you want to use different um, attributes than I have. But here's how I do it. So I'm going to go super user. I'm going to put in my secret password. And then um, I cheated and I already have exactly what I need. So I'm going to open up Vim, my bash profile. Okay, here. Here's what I have found is the perfect um uh code that i need so i i tell fay to set it um, big and fill it and then here's the directory and here is the file so i have home my username is user ironically um pictures wallpapers wallpaper.jpg you can of course pick any folder any directory that you choose at all um, this gives you complete freedom but this is exactly what i did um, i found that it worked better under the root rather than just my profile um, so this is what i ended up with and that's why i didn't that's why i had to sign in for, as root and not just um not just the here i'll make that bigger so you can see it um, so I found that if you put it in root that it works if you put it in as your user it doesn't work or it doesn't automatically do it now um, that 
is probably what you're here for. Now, a um, subset of people may find this interesting, probably very few, but um, I'm strange in that I have two monitors. That's not super strange, but um, I like one of my monitors to be rotated 90, 90 degrees. Um, in the i3, that is um, not totally trivial of how you would how you would do that. This is what I ended up finding is the solution. So um, there's a program called Xander that I have found, and this tells you about my two um, displays here. I have an HDMI um, display, a Dell um, here, and you can see everything there is to know about that. Um, this tells me that it's normal, left, inverted, right axis, blah, 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 blah. It tells me the size and all that. Um, but here's the other one. So my not as good monitor, I like it to be rotated 90 degrees. I like to look at, um, I use it for either emails or I use it for um, viewing PDFs when I'm doing work and I can look at PDFs. Anyway, it doesn't matter why I need to do it. Um, but this is the one I want to rotate. So I wanted to rot this, rotate this 90 degrees. It's super easy in um, GNOME and all that. Um, but in i3, um, it's not totally obvious how you should do it. So if you want to do this, um, you need to find what display it's showing up as. Um, when I was using, uh, what was I using? I was using a different distribution, and it was still called VGA, but it was called VGA0. So you need to do this on your current system because uh, this can change it'll still be VGA that's the cord but um, it can change which which one it calls it and it was called VGA 0 but now it's called VGA 1 so you need to figure out what um, what exactly um, would be beneficial to you let's go back now that we know what I'm talking about sort of um, so I'm telling Xander output VGA 1 I want you to rotate it left and that gives me that 90 degrees angles that I want. And just right on login, it flips it for me. So as, if, as long as it's under root. As long as it's under the root bash profile, it will automatically um, rotate that for me. That may not help you in any way, um, but you now know that it's out there and um, you at least have the freedom to do anything um, that you might want to do. Um, it has, of course, uh, many, many options, but um, how would you know to look up that program um, if someone didn't tell you? I think that would be the only um, confusing thing. So here's all the, um, all the different options, and I just had to play with these and, and read the manual until I figured out my exact thing that I wanted. It does have reflect, reflection. You can change all kinds of different properties, but the only thing I wanted to do for me right now is to flip one of my screens 90 degrees, and I was able to do it with Xander. Or, and that's what I've been calling it in my head. I have no idea how it's actually pronounced. Um, maybe it's called... Um, I don't know. But I'm, I've been calling it Xander in my head. Um, so, I hope that helps. Um, and uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything that I should have went over that I didn't. Um, but I hope that helps somebody.